Yo, it's Crow. And uh, I, I saw this article and I, I thought it was just kind of funny. Um, Rob Layfield uh, levels heavy criticism against the next generation of millennial and Gen Z comic book creators. They're terrible with directions, love to argue, and have zero accountability. I, I, I mean, I want to read his, like, his response here um, to this. But it's, to me, I look at it and I say, yeah, the, the, the generation that is getting involved with, with mainstream comics and are, are being allowed to participate in mainstream comics, that, that's who they are. I mean, they're, they're, they're entitled, they're bratty. Um, and, and look who they look up to. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you can argue that, you know, these are somehow much worse than what pre-existed but like what pre-existed uh, uh cultivated that um and and it's frustrating for me because i i know that there are plenty of people uh with within comics gate uh that absolutely have incredible talent um i i and I, i'm sure had uh, they not been just repeatedly slapped across the face and stomped on and disrespected, um, they, they would be more than happy uh, to, to show what they could do. Uh, but instead, like, they, they've been completely chased away. Um, but it, it's not just them that got chased away, right? Um, it, it was comic book fans that were chased away. It, it was people that maybe one day would would have wanted to work for uh image comics but but they were completely chased away by the bullshit that was being put out um that that's i mean it's 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 actually sad i was reading this i was like ah fuck you you get what you deserve and, and then i was like but but actually um it, it, it's just like a, a constant reminder that they've chased out people that that really love comics that are that, that would you know probably probably you know like do anything to write batman or spider-man or deadpool or you know like the, the characters that they grew up reading right um and and you like you took that from them all right all right uh let, let's uh just read his uh I, I guess it was just posted to facebook um and it's not in relation to to, to any type of controversy or anything that's happening currently um but he put, you know, got to be honest, had to cut ties with a number of new talent this past spring and summer. Several of these, the work will never see the light of day. I'm having it redone. The connective tissue is the age. These are individuals who are of an age between millennials and Gen Z. The talents I let go are terrible with directions. They love to argue and have zero accountability. No matter how polite I share, and I write every exchange as if it would be shared in public. The, re the reactions are a style and manner. That I haven't encountered before. I go out of my way to give the benefit of the doubt, spoon feed the info and directions, but the snap and deflection is unlike anything I've encountered in 36 years. I've had a great track record breaking of all manner of talents over three decades, but man, this is a whole new era, and I'm learning that I don't have the patience for the petulant behavior. And to the fact that I pay top rates, I'm not looking for bargains. It makes me wonder what will become of the industry over the next decade. I've been really fortunate to work with so many great talents over the course of my career. There's a whole new era that has a different standard of the dread entitlement. I, I again, like I, I, I want to read it in full because when I was when I was looking at it, I was like, but there, there are plenty of people that 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 are hard workers that that would that that would fight for this stuff. Um, but you know, like how how many times? Were, were they like stepped on how many times did you spit in their face how many times uh did did you just like uh, uh defame them or, or associate them with all manners of evil uh all because they said your comics were shit right and i was speaking about, like rob leefield uh directly like i'm talking about you know industry professionals right and look at the people that ran in to support it, right? Were they comic fans? No. They were like the, the Twitter mob, the, 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 the assholes and shit, right? Uh, and and it, it was interesting to me because they, they weren't reading the books. They weren't reading the books. So, like, 
who was reading it? Maybe it was these people. These people who, who, who remained, even as the stories got fucking awful, um, who were, were more than happy to support the works, even as uh, the, the, the authors behind it took massive and just unhinged shots at people, right? And, and, and maybe that's what you have now. Right, like super entitled whiny babies uh, who who have have no respect or love for the industry whatsoever. Right, because it's all garbage. It's old. They're new. They know what people actually want because they're young. That's the future. You're old. Right, like I the, the like having to, that mentality. I'm sure is just like running like nonstop in their heads. Because that's what's been promoted, right? Uh, and, and you offering directions to them, like, you can be nice and polite and everything, but you know, if you didn't cut ties, eventually one of those days, somebody was going to sit there and, and I would imagine, uh, ra raise a big old stink about how Rob Layfield keeps uh, lecturing and mansplaining to the female employees. Because you know that's where it goes next, right? Yeah, man. Like, and when you say, like, you pay top rates and everything, it's like, that, that, I mean, but you've chased, like, people have been chased away from, from mainstream comics. Like, even if you pay a ton of money, you're not going to get the people that you have mocked and belittled. And also, you're not going to get them because they wouldn't want to ruin their own credibility but by going and associating with with Image or or with Marvel or with DC, so so you now, now you have a very tiny pool of people, the the people that absolutely are are happy to engage uh, in in the Twitter fighting, um, but you know not 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 really all that interested in actually picking up the books, but they will, they they absolutely will defend to the death whatever was in those pages. Oh man! And as far as like, I, I love how like you see you see the uh, the artwork and everything because like, no doubt it, it's really good. Like he, he's really good. Like no disrespect for that. Like I I, I like uh, I, I like a lot of this stuff. Oh, okay, I think he, was he the one who did the, like the barrel chest? Oh my gosh, I, I might be blanking on the wrong guy. But like these these are like these are all well done, right? I, I I'm not trying to like take shots like oh he's he's fucking garbage, but like man man, I've worked in comics for 36 years. This is absolutely a generational thing, a social media generation. It's different from than any age before, and it's several people, not one guy from across the globe. Complete lack of accountability, willingness to be flexible in terms of suggestions. The attitude is crazy. The last group of a new talent that I worked with, many starting from 20. 15 were go-getters diligent workers with respect new folks i've started working with since 2021 are a new breed much of it is covered in so many comments in this thread just a different work ethic and attitude it's worse than that i, I yeah it's not a different work ethic and attitude i mean it, it's what you said here it's a social media generation they're vain they're entitled and that's what's been promoted their entire lives right like that's who you have now, right? And, and you can't go to, to the people that, you know, are hard workers because, like, a lot of them don't tolerate the shit that you, they, that's been happening with comic books. A lot of them who are fans are, are completely turned off by it. So, so this is what you were left with. You're left with the crazy, entitled uh, uh, pieces of garbage that have no respect for you because, like, Honestly, they'll praise whatever is put out as long as you, you know, do a little prank logo on it. That's all it takes. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's so sad. They said the same thing about us when we were kids. That said, they're fucking Christen. You, you're, you're right, Heidi. You're right. No, it's not the same. I've broken 50 to 60 names into this business. Three decades of young talent. This is a bright product of some of the much new tech in social media. Yeah, and I, I would 100% agree with that. 
But like, you're fucked. You absolutely are. You're not going to get young people that are enthusiastic about comics that are willing to learn because they respect what they've seen because you've been pumping trash out. They're not going back to, to the good old days before your brains turned to fucking spaghetti, right? And, and guaranteed, if they look into who like a lot of the professionals in the industry are, they're going to see the shit that came out of their mouths. And it's going to turn them off. But you know who's going to remain? The people that fucking love that shit, right? And, and, and now you see like how they actually operate in a professional environment. And it sucks, doesn't it? 